Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the IWI Masada. Nice compact size striker fire polymer frame handgun that's been around for about four years now. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these. Never did. Had a couple opportunities, but my buddy called me up, said, I noticed you never reviewed the Masada. I just picked one up. Would you like to review it? And I jumped at the opportunity. Many people have strong, favorable comments about the Masada. I'm going to check it out at the range shortly, but let's go ahead and get into this. MSRP 480, and if you go with it, you will see two 17 round magazines, also available in 10 rounds for states that require that. Three grit modules. This one that is installed seems to fit my average size hands just fine. It is an optic ready handgun. It does come with four plates here to fit six different optics and if you're into red dots on handguns it offers it with the masada and then everything else in a cardboard box so not bad there for an msrp of 480 i've seen them anywhere between 400 and 450 on the used market you don't see them too often it came out with a bang of four years ago and i think a lot of people that own these Really love it. I posted a pic on Instagram and I got some very favorable comments. But we look at the Masada, we can see that the grip, sort of like a soft grit sandpaper, not very aggressive. Shouldn't rub against the skin for those that would carry it. The deployment on the 17 round mag is pretty strong. Check that out. And then it does have front serrations for the press checks. I will say that that recoil spring is heavy like just to, to charge you know to charge it's not bad but to, to do a press check you, i really feel that digging into my my thumb it is a fully ambidextrous gun with both the magazine release and slide stop on both sides lefties will certainly like that a little undercut in the trigger guard a little extended beaver tail there for a high grip on the pistol that's always a bonus already mentioned optic ready three dot sights that are metal, has a pick rail there, some checkering in the front of the trigger guard, a lot of, a lot of uh, space in there for gloved fingers, all right, but the trigger, we're looking at six pounds. Now, it does have a trigger bar safety in there. It feels exactly like a six pound trigger, so when I, I felt that, I'm like, that's, that's about six pounds, and then I checked the sight and my trigger scale and everything else, it measures right at six pounds. And that's what you're looking at right there with the reset nice looking handgun it's a little bit larger 4.1 inch barrel but i'm going to compare with some other well let's just do that right now we'll take the glock 19 here you can see that from this perspective the masada looks like a full-size handgun and then when we align the slides we can see that the masada on the left is about a half inch longer than the Glock 19. Now it's holding 17 rounds, so you expect the grip to go a little bit longer, but it goes quite a bit longer compared to the 15 round Glock 19. Let's check out the Walther PDP. Same deal here. If you look, you see that the Masada goes about, I would say, a half inch, and then the grip not as, well, yeah, a little bit. Whatever. You know, it, it feels good, I will say that the ergos on this Walther PDP is amazing. It, it just feels so nice. But the one that kind of struck me a little bit is, is, is the uh, M&P Compact. Now, a lot of people love the 2.0 grip, and if you love that grip, you can just feel that this one is so much more aggressive. When you grip it, it just digs into your hand. It's a preference thing, as where this doesn't. This actually, with sweaty hands, I think would slip a little bit. But we're looking at the same sort of deal with the slide length and the grip. Let's go ahead and take a look at the internals here. We'll lock the slide back. Move this lever down and pull the trigger here and off comes the slide. Now this frame they're calling fiberglass reinforced polymer. All right, so that's what you're looking at. Feels like a standard polymer Wonder 9 handgun. Single recoil spring, 
polymer guide rod, 4.1 inch barrel. The Israeli made pistols, well firearms in general, they, they have a very fine reputation for good build quality. Although I have to say, most of the modern firearms these days, they all they all do. I don't care. Even the budget handguns, you know, the or the budget firearms, I should say, they, they are made so well. It, it's really amazing. People love the Israeli ones, you know, the, the German ones, the Czechoslovakian ones, the American ones. They're, they're putting out some fine firearms, some fine pistols, and right out of the gate, this one seemed to do very well. One pound, nine and a half ounce unloaded. Let's go ahead and put 17 rounds of full mag in there. Two pounds, half ounce. We move that to just ounces. Where is it? Come on. 32 and a half. Put another round in there in the chamber. You're looking at 33 and 7. 33 ounces. So those who would carry this would find it a little bit on the heavier side for a compact size. Not by much though. But I can't wait to get this to the range. I'm going to do that this weekend. Produce a range review and we'll see. I, I, I think it's going to do very well. A lot of people love this gun. I've heard nothing but positive comments about it. They say it's priced well. They've got thousands of rounds through it. It's fed, fire, and ejected everything. And honestly, based on that and people I know who own this, I expect nothing less. And we'll see. Check it out this weekend. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.